All right, welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid, and we're about to take out Liquid after that horrible fail last time due to lack of rations. But I'm not gonna get shot as much this time around. All right, same strategy. Pull out the stingers. All right, where are you? Yeah, there's barely, there's no weak spots on this thing, so there's nowhere you can shoot on it that would do more damage than anywhere else on the helicopter, so... you think shooting in the front where Liquid is would do more damage, but it doesn't, so... Really, you just have to hit him in any of the three places. Alright, this is doing... Oh, come I was about to say, this is going much better than last time, and then I get shot. Oh, thank you for running right into that. I wasn't even locked on. I didn't even hit him, and he still went to shoot me. Okay, what am I doing? Lock on! Hold still, you asshole. Thank you. Alright, oh, okay, yeah, he's gonna shoot the missile again. Yeah, as long as you're nowhere, whoa, as long as you're nowhere near that, uh, that area right there, you should be fine. But then he's gonna shoot you again. Uh, can you, can you get into view, please? Wait, did I lose last time because my rations were unequipped? If that's why, then I, I swear I'm gonna kill myself, but... I hope that's not the reason why. I just hope I ran out of them. I can't hit you from there. Can you get in view? I didn't mean over there, because that's a horrible position. I think my rations were unequipped. I, I mean, I would like to hope they weren't, but I really think that's what was the problem. Come on. What are you doing? You gonna come out? You wanna get shot in the face? I have to admit, Liquid is a really good pilot if he's getting hit with, like, 17 missiles, or, no, I had to fall, it was 15. Getting hit with 15 missiles, and still just able to fly this thing, even though they've hit them in the cockpit, like, almost every single time. So, I have to give him some props, except that he still sucks ass. Alright, no, no. What? Don't tell me you're locked on and then just get. and then just shoot yourself in the face, snake. Come on, you stupid helicopter. Run. 
run, 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 run. Pretty good. Uh, come out, please. I can see you. Oh, he's gonna go to that side. Alright, like, three more times and this should finally be over. Alright, let's go, let's go. Okay, run, 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 run. I'm not getting shot again. I'm not gonna die when I'm this far in. What? Did I not? I don't have any missiles. Run. Wait. Okay, so I didn't hit him in time, so he ran away. How do you run away when you're in a helicopter? Helicopters don't run from normal human beings. Oh crap, I, I forgot about this part. Once you get his health all the way down, he fires one more missile. Uh, I don't know where to hide either. What are you doing? You're just gonna sit over there? Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and pray. And... There goes Liquid. Took too much damage. And that's how it ends. Liquid burns to death in a helicopter crash. Yep. That takes care of the cremation. Oh, Snake, you're so funny. Alright, there's our health upgrade. And... Wait, this Otacon? Yeah. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed yeah, your way now. I'm not gonna... Yeah, Is you're not even so? gonna question that okay. at all. That explosion before, what was it? Me being a badass. Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Alright, thanks for the info. So, the helicopter is mysteriously working. But now we just need to head back down and everything should be A-OK. -okay. Is there anything for me to collect up here? Nope, just gotta go down. And those cameras are still there. But, uh... Hmm. We don't need our Stinger missiles anymore, so... We have just enough to get rid of those cameras. Right, this should be... Yeah, that took care of all of them. So instead of wasting my chaff grenades that I'm actually going to need later on, just use this remaining sticker missiles you have and take care of those cameras.
Yeah, I guess the cameras come into view when you're going down the stairs, so you don't have to worry about stopping at every single staircase to see where they are. Yep, there they are. Alright, so I decided for this recording session, I'm gonna stop when we have to switch to discs. And once we have to switch to disc 2, that's where I'll stop recording for tonight. And I'll pick it up, I guess, tomorrow. I don't know. Whenever I get the chance. But we're at part 8, I think. By this, no, part 9 by this recording. So we should be good. Doing good on time for this LP, so... Should we get done in maybe four more parts? Five more parts, probably? Around there. Alright, before you go in here, equip the FAMAS and a ration. Huh? That's the weight limit sound. Just kind of weird why sneak weighs like 800 pounds. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had oh, a weight limit of 650, not 800. Pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. No, oh, Jesus, Otacon, get your face out of the Kodak the camera. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. Yeah, that's why you equip the Fama. Too late, Snake. Now die. Yeah, just start. Oh wait, uh, might be a good idea to drop a stun grenade and then just keep firing and hope for the best. Since gotta take care of all five of these guys. Oh, they're all still alive. How are you all still alive? Alright, is that all of them? Oh, good. That was a little too close. <sighs> Alright, we should be... There should be... Yeah, items, though. I am behind this tower here. Uh, and that's where the stairs are broken. That's why we couldn't get down here. Um. Where? What am I even looking for? Uh, equip. Yeah, equip the chaff grenades and level six card. More stuff for us over here. And yeah. Um, Snake couldn't make that, like, two-step gap there and just hop down. I guess because he's lazy. So, yeah, just head in through here. And there's a camera there. Uh, if I wait for it to... Should be good. Yeah, this is where you throw the chaff grenade. Wait a second... Grab this stuff, and then just make a run for it. And now it's time for another boss battle. Oh, 
okay. Uh, we're in a giant open snowfield. We can't even see to the other side. I wonder if you put the night vision, can you see over there? No. Thermal? Nothing. Can't see anything over there. Uh, no, equip the rations. And equip your sniper rifle, and then deselect it. Uh, run over here. Check for any rations or anything over in this corner. Yep, here's a ration. And then run out in the middle. And you get shot in the face. And this is the perfect time to have a cell phone conversation. Snake, are you okay? I just got shot in the face. Autocon. Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Why are you smiling? Icon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly. How did you get in on this Kodak conversation? <laughs> I told you. I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf. No, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near Well, you? since you told me where you're near for here. A sniper to reveal our yeah. location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Right to my heart? Do you heart? know what that is? Yeah. Huh. It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Can you hurry up and shut up so I can... Okay, good. Alright, uh, forget what I said about the sniper rifle, just go in this corner here, grab another ration, oh, ration, uh, duck down here, grab your Nikita, and fire a missile, and look for sniper wolf, what the, oh, she got me, I thought that clip was higher, oh, what the, the missile hit her? Uh, hi. How high is this? It really isn't that high. Huh. Uh. Come on, where is she now? Got you now, bitch. Yeah, just rinse and repeat this Nikita strategy, and the boss fight's even a, over faster than sniping her, in my opinion. And I just like seeing how she's trying to find you and hide behind trees and crap, and then you just blow her up with a missile. I hit the tree, really. Uh, can I go up this side? Yes, I can. See you. Why are you turning your back? Good, I hit you right in the butt. Why does she keep turning her back? What kind of sniper are you? I'm over here, not right in front of you at the door. Hello. Oh, no, don't run away. Where are you going? 
Hi. Whoa. Here you go. It's funny how she's not even questioning. Like, she doesn't see that I'm cheating and blowing her up and not even using a sniper rifle. Right for her leg. And I definitely have enough misses to finish her, so. Pretty easy fight at this point. I still can't believe. How does Anakon fall in love with a woman who barely even knows him or cares about his existence? She only cared more about her wolves and killing me than him. I don't know when they ever started any love interest. funny how that trend of Otacon falling in love with someone and then dying only continues on for the rest of the games. And it's over. There's my health upgrade. And even though we killed her behind a tree, over to the left, she's not even her body's not even gonna be there. She somehow teleported right in the middle. I and where are all those bullet holes? I blew you off. For this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> Shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a card. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A curd. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield, raised on a battlefield, gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day, driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. 
in Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aluts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Yeah, huge emotional cutscene. Alright, uh, before we leave this area- Oh, don't go in there yet. <laughs> uh, is there- There's a camera in there. Alright, come on, chap. Yeah, there's cardboard box C. If you really wanted to go back to 
any of the previous buildings. You could get in the cardboard box and then jump in this truck and it will take you to any of the previous places that have a truck. But there's no real reason to go back to any previous area once you go, uh, once you enter disc two. There's no reason at all. So just keep collecting all the items that are in these little uh, storage areas. No camera in here. Oh, there's, I know there's claymores in here. I always remember this. At least I think there are claymores in here because... No, there isn't. Uh, I thought there was a room that had claymores in it because I thought, Hey, a room without a camera? There's... Oh, okay, just keep going. And then a claymore was right there and blew up in my face. So I guess I was wrong. Uh, is this the room with the claymores in it? Oh my god, it is. Yeah, I thought, there's no cameras in this room, must be safe. Oh wait, blew up because of the claymore. Maybe get some more diazepam that I'm not gonna need. Oh, I need a ration. Let me use that. What? Really? Well, at least there's no more mines in here now. Bye, Sniper Wolf. Have a good nap. That was a horrible teabag. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Wait, is this level 7? What's in there? I'm not even gonna... You know what? I don't really care. Let's just throw another chaff. And run down the stairs. And now... It's time to switch to disc 2. Alright, so I think that's the perfect time to end this video, so I thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you all come back for the next episode where we'll continue on with the story. A lot of huge plot points are going to be revealed, and we'll finally be able to see Metal Gear for the first time, so hope you guys come back for the next episode. Please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I hope to see you guys next time, so bye bye